I'm going to show you how you can make a tandoori chicken uh, tikka in a house with or without tandoor. So let's get it done. So I'm going to start uh, marinating my chicken. So I've got about 500 grams of chicken thigh, the base cup for chicken tikka. And I'm going to marinate it with ginger garlic, a little bit of salt, a little bit of chili powder, and lemon. So I'm going to keep this minded chicken tikka in my fridge for about half an hour and uh, we can keep it for overnight for a better flavor. So it's been half an hour, I'm ready to uh, marinate my chicken tikka properly now. Um, for second marination I'll take uh, mustard oil, add a red chili powder, turmeric, my ginger garlic paste. I'm going to give a rub before I add anything else. Right, it's a time to add yogurt. I've taken a thick uh, hung curd or uh, you can use a Greek style yogurt. And this is uh, something called roux. Um, I've made it with the, uh, equal amounts of oil and uh, ground flour. I've roasted it. This is a kind of glue that helps um, my chicken tikka marination to stay on the uh, chicken while it's being cooked. So I'm going to add it about two teaspoons. Now this is, a, this is the optional step, you can do it or you can avoid it, it's entirely up to you. So at the end I'm going to add some kasuri methi or fenugreek crushed to garam masala and salt. Now I'm going to give a nice massage to my chicken once my marination is ready. I'm going to add some lemon. And I'm going to pour everything on my chicken and give a nice gentle massage. Ideally, I should keep it uh, in the fridge for about an overnight um, to um, get the maximum flavor, but we can cook it right away. Right, I'm ready to cook my chicken in uh, tandoor, so I'm going to skewer it on my skewer and uh, have to be a little bit gentle because we can rip these uh, thigh parts very, very easily. I okay, will just put it into oven or tandoor. So you can cook this chicken tikka in your domestic oven. Take uh, your oven to 220 degrees Celsius uh, for about five minutes, grill the chicken for five minutes and then put the temperature low to uh, 180 degrees Celsius and leave it there in a, for about 15 to 20 minutes and take a look on your chicken tikka if it's ready. If it's not, give another five, seven minutes. It looks like uh, our chicken tikka is ready, so I'm just gonna take it off the skewer. Just give a nice check. It's beautiful and it's ready. So I'm just gonna have to Take it off the skewer. So my chicken tikka is ready, so I'm gonna just start plating it. So here I have a, a green chutney. Uh, it's made of mint, coriander, lime, and onions. So a little bit of that. And I'm going to have uh, sliced onions a thinly sliced onions and juicy chicken tikka you can take a look it's so yummy so juicy it's literally gonna melt in your mouth and some Micro coriander or fresh.
So that's my chicken tikka ready guys. 